Shut up. <laughs> Did that just happen? <laughs> You're filming? Did you know? No. And we'd love to send you a Christmas, Christmas card. Cards. Yeah. From the McBride. We said we wanted to be your friends. We weren't just making yeah. that up. That's what friends do, send Christmas cards. It was I love Jenny's real comments. laughs. It's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm actually really shy. And they're like, Jenny, can you do an interview for us? I'm like, uh, Sure. We so should I, answer questions. I was just gonna say, a bunch of your comments to look for questions to answer. Perfect. How do you keep that love there? Do you ever discreet? No, we actually okay. have a perfect relationship. I read this comment and I literally <laughs> laughed out loud. It's, it's really hard loud. always being the one that's right. It makes it awkward oh at the end of the disagreement. <laughs> Wow, that yeah. is a rough life for you, huh? It is hard, and it must be hard for you always being I think wrong we need and always a new feeling question. like. Yeah. Okay, you go to the bathroom and then you get on your phone and then, and then you get like, distracted. And you're like, I'm never coming out. He can no. handle this. He's been at work all day. He can handle these kids me. for 20 minutes. See, we're I'm disagreeing filthy. right here. We disagree about everything. Well, I'm not disagreeing. I'm just acting like you on the toilet. Okay. I'm not going back out there. I do that while I'm on the toilet. Do you watch or listen? And I want to see how many people listen. Do you listen to podcasts? Do mom do that? I do when do I that? clean. I listen to the podcast that Sean gets frustrated that I listen to. True crime stuff. Ew. <laughs> Sean hates it. I also love that you guys still shop at Walmart and that you don't have an aesthetic. You guys are so cool. If we have money, I don't want to buy any junk that goes in our house or fancy no clothes. I would rather no go travel clothes. and see Target, the world Walmart, and see culture and how other people live their lives. Yes, and that's what we want to do. Are you sure? Do you want my legs to be the base first? Let's do it both ways. Well, if I had a dollar. Okay, here we go. You're really I'm all the way back <laughs> pulling you as much as I can. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do it with your feet. See, your feet have to hold you up, not your arms. Oh. Yep, see. Okay. See your feet. Oh, we did yeah. it! Whoa. <laughs> hey, we got it though. P for parents. It's a good episode. <laughs> episode two. <laughs> told our neighbor the other day, I'm like, yeah, we haven't seen the mouse in like three months. <gasps> and we're both recording ourselves selfies down. We say, welcome to P for parents. And then you jump and then I jump and then that footage goes into that. Wait, 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 wait. What are we going? On three? On three. One, One two, two, three. three. Whoa! Welcome to, to P, P for, for parents. parents. <laughs> Wow, I was actually just way impressed at how that good was, we That jumped. was really good, yeah. Yeah, welcome guys. Oh, this is, we kind of flattened the bean bag down a little bit. Oh, did. Do you have to have your drink on here? <sighs> Jenny needs water for everything she does. She has to stay hydrated. I, I am one of those Water drinkers. That have just a <sighs> giant jug of water by their nightstand at all times. How was your day? It was busy. Whenever we finally get the kids to bed. Which we just barely did it. Took Maybe forever. Maybe took, took an forever. hour. Ever. She just kept wanting more books and more songs and more turkey and now dance. And she jumps and... out of bed. So it's extra hard. So I do Adley and Nico's bedtime and brush teeth and everything and mom does navies. And then we, we get done get... and we're like, oh, that was miserable. And then we talk about all the frustrating things and we're like, so how was your day? Yeah. And we're so going to share that day? with you guys. It was really good. We woke up. We got the kids off to school. Actually... <laughs> We it's woke up kind of, kind of late, morning, yeah. so we had to hurry and rush the kids to school. And I wanted to shave because I hadn't shaved forever. I was just going to say, Sean looks like he lost like five pounds just in his Hello. face by shaving. It, well, you, you look, my face fat. Right? It looks thinner. Well, thank you. But yeah, you so do you think look... I'm more handsome with a beard or more thin with a beard? <laughs> I like you shaved. I'll just say that. Wow, okay. <laughs> Wow, I didn't know that. I'll just I'll be just honest. I'll just stay shaved. Jeez, okay. Yeah, you just look like wow, the, I just want to be manly every now and then. A grizzly day, bear for you don't like, like grizzly a month. Bears? I do like grizzly Jenny's like, bears. are you doing that no shave November thing? And I was like, no, I've just been too busy to not shave. So I'm like, or to so shave. you are. Oh, but yeah, that well, was that was the day we got. The, I got Adley to school. You got Nico I got to my school. Tooth in. Sean got I called in. the dentist because it fell out on Friday. They were closed. Didn't have a tooth all weekend. The last time we and filmed then... this, his tooth fell out. I like My that. tooth fell out this morning. Did it I really? I didn't tell you yet. No. Uh, <gasps> how about every in? time I lose or gain a tooth, we film a Pee for Parents episode? Sounds great. Oh, we had an animation meeting. Yeah. That was fun. Mondays are really busy. They're, uh, we have meetings with all the different like categories and companies yeah. throughout the space station and just get ready for the week and talk about what we need to get done. And we have an animation episode dropping this Friday. We do. It's the it's Christmas Monday night episode. right now. So we're filming mm -hmm. this on Monday. 
we know it will go live this Sunday, and we wanted to give it enough time to edit it, because yes. we don't really have someone at the space station that edits P for Parents videos. There's this nobody. is our new idea, but everyone's yeah. awesome and supportive, so everyone's been helping out. Um, Bird, Nick, Brandon edited the last There are so one. many people that just, like, we're so excited to do this, and they're like, oh, I'll help We've you. We've been talking so about busy, it for a while, it's like, just so I'll busy. I'll do this and that. But so. what's funny is we were always like, oh, it's too busy, no, we can't do it. And then we finally did it, like in the middle of the holidays when it's actually the most busy we've ever been. This is, is like true. this time. But I think it's like our Belize trip and everything going on was like, it was like we just Halloween, needed an outlet. Belize, and yeah. It felt good to tell is, you guys like, a lot of that if stuff, If you huh? keep putting something off, it's never going to get done. It's true. It's like... It's very true. Over the past seven years doing all the space station stuff, we've learned so many little nuggets. I think experience teaches probably the most. Learning is actually experiencing, and so experiencing us having goals and wanting to do stuff, and then we see when we put them off, they don't happen. When we just attack them, we have a whole crew of space station people that help us, and we can mm -hmm. accomplish it. So usually, especially for us, the first step is just actually going for it. Yeah. I'm glad we did. We didn't have to have the perfect profile picture that Jenny's like, use that for our profile picture. I was like, why did you do a screen grab? We have thousands of pictures together. Why? It's because I you wanted just it to be picture? like authentic and like we're going on this journey together. We'll slowly create the brand together. P for no. Parents is gonna be huge. We're gonna be like Joe Rogan. Like we someday. can at least do hey, a We are gonna picture. be like interviewing Will Smith and his wife oh, and boy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I just wanna clean you guys. You're really dirty. It's like look how I can't yeah. believe you started like that. I'm sorry. Can I grab? You know, Nick always makes sure Adley vlogs are clean. I always make sure the best day ever is clean. I thought you were kind of the camera checker for P for Parents. This is kind of your thing. Sorry, guys. I was kind of disappointed in you, actually, when I saw how dirty it was. Oh, whatever. You didn't even <laughs> notice. Sean actually could use glasses. I do. I always squint. And by the end of the day, especially days like Monday, my eyes are always shot. Like, so actually, um, speaking of eyes, like my eyes were getting blurry by how much I was reading. Like, there was hundreds of comments. Oh, reading the comments, like, you don't read. <laughs> you Before read I had kids, I love to read, actually. I would read all the time, but I haven't read a book in years, but I'm talking about reading You're like, your why comments. Why is for me? I'm like, the scripture? <laughs> <laughs> no. Your comments, like, it was I love Jenny's real comments. laughs. I, I think you get to see them on the vlog all the time, but it's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Her hiccups sound like pterodactyls. It's true. I did that the other day in one of the meetings, and then a couple of people haven't been there for them before, so they all turn around like, Are you okay? Like, she turns into a dinosaur when she gets. One of my favorite things is when I'm filming, and something funny happens, and Adley looks up at me and, like, smiles, like, Dad, are you getting this? And, like, I just That's love That's awesome. It. Yeah, I yeah. love that. Questions? You're probably wondering why I'm wearing pigtails. Because she's so cute. I love pigtails. Seriously. <laughs> I do them every ah. now and then. Um, but got to hurry and finish this P for today, Parents episode. <laughs> Today we had, we do it every year, we take, <sighs> stop it, we take Santa pictures. Um, instead of every like going year. to the mall, we like go to this other place and we have Sean dress up as Santa, which get his big belly on, he gets a costume and then the My kids just- My belly was at least five pounds bigger. Yes, he does, belly. he puts a little pillow in there. But um, but yeah, we take pictures and it's been a tradition since um, Adley was a baby. We've gone we, to the Every same year we place. have them. And guess what? Jenny had the brilliant idea that next year, we're gonna get all the stuff like the Santa yeah. stuff and the cool props that it is, and we're gonna provide that service at the space station yeah. so the crew can come with their families and get Santa pictures at the space station just yeah. like we always do. And then we'll do it there too. We'll become that thing, that tradition. We'll give that yeah. to the crew. That was such I a good idea. It. Jenny comes up with so many good ideas for the space station. It's so It was cool. a little too late in my brain to do it this year, so we're gonna work it and yeah. make it so it's next year. So it's gonna be fun of pictures of all the crew members next year. You'll get to see them, it'll be fun. And if you know me, I love making videos, but I don't like taking pictures, so I yeah, just. Yeah, Sean is a good sport. Like today, he is like, oh, I'll take pictures. And then still, like before we're actually taking pictures, I'm like, oh, what poses should we do? And he's just like, oh, Doesn't no, care. Blah, blah, blah. But Doesn't in the moment, he's like, oh, babe, do this, do this, let's do it. And kids, I'm telling go. him all the to do. Mm, yeah. And he's doing it so good. And that then he's like, Can we pop up some I'm of those so or will glad. we not have them yet? I think we'll have some. He's like, I'm so glad you made us do this. Thanks. I'm like, yeah, you're yeah. welcome. Wasn't I kind of frustrating, not helpful at the beginning, but yeah, then as soon really as we were. started, I'm on You're it. shaking the camera when you're kicking your leg. Sorry, I move around a lot. Yeah. Anyways, like making videos, pictures not as much. I always feel awkward. Except for um, Edgar. 
EGZ, shout out to his Instagram, yeah, the space station, he's our buddy, and he's so good at photography, and he's the one who always gets my skate shots, and yeah. the cool pirate shots, and the shots that show up in magazines and stuff, and like, he, we have a I, lot of awesome. good photographers at the space station. Now. I know. I think but, Scott is the one that got your, your, with you on your gladiator, actually. Jenny's just being a sweetheart and trying to make sure we say nice things to everyone, but for <laughs> real, Edgar, you're amazing. We just did a Halo photo shoot um, with our new Halo Master Chief. Oh, yeah, those were yeah. really cool. We like spray painted a wall up and he asked me, pop these up. I look, I feel so cool in these pictures. Pop. Rad, right? You do look really cool. I know. That was way fun. I mean, Abby was so pictures. concerned while Sean's hand was like white for two days, <laughs> and your wedding ring still has white on it, actually. Still does. I think these guys are so far away. Then That's just as zoom close them as it in. gets. That really is. That's like, as much as it zooms. I, I feel think it's like it's we're okay. actually really close. I don't know uh, no, why you yeah. think they're so I guess far. if we were sitting here, like, if you guys were hanging out at our house tonight, we were just chatting. This is about how far. Like, no, this like, would be weird be if they were seeing this close. Probably this far away. Like, we'd be super hey, close. Yeah, you guys no, are actually but, close. No, but they're watching us. They want to... Let's yeah. start with the questions. Yeah. Oh, wait. People that are watching P for Parents, we should set up a Google form, and oh, you yeah. guys could put your addresses in, and we'd love to send Do you, you want a Christmas, Christmas card cards. Yeah. from the McBride. We said we wanted to be your friends. We weren't just making yeah. that up. That's what friends do, send Christmas cards. So, somewhere in the description, there'll be a link. Click it. Yes. Um... Your info will be private. We're not going to send you anything or yes. sell you any list, but if you want a Christmas card, that'll we'll make be it really fun. And we'll surprise a couple of them with actual packages full of stuff. That will be the surprise this time. We're filming a lot of fun videos for our space station Instagram, and they're like, Jenny, can you do an interview for us? I'm like, uh, sure. Like, I don't know why, but that gives me, like, I get so nervous. I yeah. don't know why. Just like answering people's questions and talking in front of others. I am so nervous during all of those. But like right here with me, you, and the vlog and our friends, like, I can chat and be myself and have fun. Yeah. But I feel like if you there's really a lot of other people around that I'm just like, oh, yeah. what's up? This is cool. Because if like, you think oh, about it, I there are so many people that are going to watch this. Maybe a whole football stadium full of people this that will eventually true. watch it. If you think about that, it's nerve wracking, but the vlog feels so familiar for yeah. us because this camera and this feeling of the camera and you guys in it, yeah. it's just grown with our family ever since we were a family. When we were mm -hmm. dating, we just did our thing, but once we became family, we had this vlog for all our memories. Like and family. so, <laughs> yeah, when we talk to you, it just feels like we're talking to a member. Of, it's really cool. Yeah. I've, it's super unique. We're really lucky that we did this and we've kept it up and that we found success and there's people that wanted to be relatable and watch and or that find yeah. us relatable. Okay, we so should I, answer questions. I was just gonna say a bunch of your comments to look for questions and answer. Perfect. And the majority of you just said how awesome this was and that you're so excited for this and that you want to be our friends. We've been wanting to do this forever. It was so it was really and fun so to many see all nice that you're all excited about it. I love when people say that you, you appreciate how authentic we are, that we keep it real, that you uh, you're good with letting your kids watch this and you know that there won't be anything yeah, bad and that I wrote a lot you can of tell that too. we try hard to like clean up our messes and go on adventures and explore yeah, like, and teach kids things yes. and like we try so hard to just do good with our videos mm -hmm. and share positive messages and learning and not any of our opinions or anything, as well as just document our personal life. That's another part is that mm -hmm. truly these are just our memories. So while we want to do good things and share positivity, we also just want to be us and do what we want to do and let our kids do what they want to do. Yeah. And that's not always, I don't know, a positive lesson. It's sometimes just us hanging out and yeah. is what it is. Anyways, I love what we do with our videos and it was nice to read all of your nice comments. It was. And there were like awesome things that we can talk about. So. And there was a lot of people that were like, oh, Jenny, I don't have friends either. I want to be your friend. And that, I don't know why, but it just, it made me feel like, Oh my gosh, I'm not alone in this. Moms, like I see all these other moms on Instagram like with all their friends and they're doing this and that. I'm like, and so I kind of feel like left out and lonely. We do and so like, much fun stuff though. I out of know, all these but moms watching, you get to do so much. There's a difference between having like girlfriends and like hanging out with them. That's true. Versus like. You have so many good real friends at work and so do I. Yeah. But because the space station is our life, these friends our work friends, but also they're our real life friends. So yeah. everything's just blending in. It's pretty perfect. It's actually really lucky, but I know what you're saying where there's just like yes. the girlfriends so or like my guys girls. that we used to play let's video just, games with. Let's just be anymore. friends, you know, right here we can be friends. And yeah. it's so funny because I read a lot of like, oh my gosh, I know we'd be best friends with you guys because you guys are just like us or we're yeah. so similar. So it was really fun. That was okay, cool. Because there's probably lots questions. of people that 
grew up with the same music or style or like have personalities, I guess, and their kids are like the same age, so. Yes. Okay, question time. Oh. We're just gonna go through and answer questions. A screenshot of these. Um, are we gonna be like putting them right here? Yeah, so we'll pop them up right them. here. There's a blank space. Oh yeah, there's space right there. Okay. Write my name. Um, this is from Swift Marcy. Together. What does We're a going typical to the day Taylor Swift kickoff concert telling them? Uh, yeah. Okay. I've never been. So I'm not a Swifty. I I love Taylor Swift. That's. I'm a new lover of Taylor Swift. She no, was always too like, trendy for he me. He has but loved now Taylor love Swift her. as long as I have. No, I started loving her. The last album was when I was blowing up on Snapchat, and I listened to it, and I was in New York City, and it's like the New York City one. But before that, I yeah. didn't like Taylor Swift. I like Guys, Guys, on. one of our videos, so when we got married, we had this camera guy. This is kind of before we even started filming videos, but he just kind of like followed us out throughout the day after we got married, and then he hurried and put that footage together, and oh, then we showed it Oh, we didn't have a camera our... guy. We hired a photographer to follow us on our wedding day. You said yeah. that weird, like we hired a camera guy to follow us around. Sean's we contracted. Buddy who had a, a VCR camera, is this better? Yeah. And he followed us, and yeah. then he put the edit together, and then we played that at our reception. But and it he was didn't Taylor's, get it done, didn't. and so I had to actually finish it, and, and I was did. late for our reception. Remember I was no, late because I was, was finishing the No, that was when I asked DVD? you to put together our old pictures. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, Anyways. that didn't get shown. But this one did, and the song he put to it was Love Story, because that's what I asked him to by Taylor, by Taylor Swift, Swift, and I love that song. So you have definitely loved her as long as I have for 12 years now. But we're going to that concert. If you guys are going there, you should meet us there or come say hi or wherever if you see us. Um, but we're going to in, is it in the Vegas? very first one in Arizona. 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 So wow. it's just going to be me and Sean and a couple of our friends from the space station. So it'll be way fun. Yeah. But I'm excited for that. Sorry, I distracted you guys. Back to the first oh, question. Yes. Um, she says, what does a typical day look like for you guys? Oh, we kind of just told them today. We but really did. We get up with the kids. Someone really focuses getting them all ready and doing their stuff. Yeah. And then usually I get ready for the day and shower and Sean do whatever else so I can take them to nine. school. And then I don't try and get to work by nine. The kids need to ride to school, and so do. I take them to school, but and then last, I might as well just go to but work. But last so I'm not gonna year come he got into this bed. bad habit. I'm gonna say bad habit where he kind of slept in and started not taking Adley to school, and then I did. I loved that. That was amazing. I know. And then I told him like this school year. Remember, you're not gonna sleep in anymore. You're gonna wake up, and take Adley to school. So. That's what we do. We get Adley to school. Yep. I usually get Nico to school, and then we come back. We hang with Nave. Well, My problem we go to school, is but... I go to bed on average at probably on average 2 a.m. every night. He sometimes goes to later, bed sometimes super earlier. late, and I accidentally go to bed super late too, because I have insomnia. I can't sleep. Which I'm like, dude, sucks. if I had a chance to sleep, I would be out. And it drives me nuts. So I've been trying to lay I there. I fall asleep the second my head hits the pillow. It just doesn't hit the for pillow. For so long, and then Sean will come up. And he brushes his teeth and I can hear him and then he lays it down. Within like 20 seconds, he's snoring. I'm and I tired. look at him and I'm just like, are you kidding me? I've been trying to sleep <laughs> for like two hours. That's what a normal day looks like. And yeah, then, oh, we get and the kids to school. It just depends work. on what day it is. So typical. I go to work. Yep. They go to school. Jenny gets stuff down, done around the house for a bit. Then she'll come to the space station. We have meetings together. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, we come back in the afternoon, usually film an Adley film video. An Adley video. <laughs> Wednesdays are A for Adley Propping. days which we don't want to say Adley all the time in the office, so we just call it A4. Yeah. So Wednesdays are A4 days, and we go through merch, and we go through animations, we go through the apps, mm -hmm. and we go through all these different teams that are helping us do amazing things for your kids and your families yeah. and our community, and we literally just make sure it's awesome, and we talk about what it's going to look like, when it's going to launch, how it all goes together, and yeah. then when we get home, um, Jenny usually gets home first, hangs out with the kids, gets mm -hmm. dinner going. I usually get home a little bit later. I don't later. get dinner going. I don't cook. You ever. don't cook, but you do get dinner going. I try to usually get like Eggos or tacos whatever. or just we don't something eat simple. Eggos for dinner, but I do cook tacos. We had Eggos a lot. for literally Thanksgiving dinner. That's what Nico put in the house. <laughs> That's what he wanted. But like we have very simple things. I'm not like this a wonderful chef. Um, Neither am I. I don't even know really how to freaking sad, cook meat on a grill super like, fancy. Like, I'd love to eat more, like, protein in oh, my life. I would life. love to do, do a, this is weird, but we've always <laughs> wondered, if any of you guys in Utah happen to be chefs and want to just chef for cook our family? For I don't know. I know Man, it sounds weird, but. It does sound so weird, but, like. We're not good at cooking. Anyways, we, we make, have we warm up a that. pizza, we grab whatever, we eat. We just don't eat super fancy, but we try and eat healthy. Also, it's not motivating when your kids don't eat it. You guys go through the same thing. Yeah. Nico literally. Eats nothing, nothing. Oh, yeah. So, Adley, does have muscles. Adley eats pretty good. <laughs> Adley eats good. She used to be a picky eater. 
Um, but then she started going to school and eating cafeteria food, and then all of her friends eat that yeah. food. So it like helps her to try new things. So she's like in chicken Gotta sandwiches this thing, year and a bunch of stuff, and it's been so fun. But then Nico, he's in this weird phase where he will literally eat nothing. He doesn't like chicken anymore. He doesn't like bread like, dude, anymore. That was your favorite thing. There was for a while where the only chicken he would eat was Chick Fil A. And he's like, we're having Chick-fil-A again? I'm like, dude, that's, like, that's all he's eating. That's but weird. then now, the other day, he's like, I hate chicken. I hate oh, pizza. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, we don't say hate. That's yeah, a strong we don't word. say that word. We try, when our kids say that, we're like, oh, that, we don't say that. All right. That's like a word like. But Next anyways, question. so I get it. You guys have picky eaters, but they're going to grow out of it. And guess what? He he had like his doctor appointment. He's still growing. He's still gaining weight. They're not going to starve the themselves. Say that. They're they still going to continue to grow. It's just ridiculous. Kids don't eat. And then I'm home. My little window of being home is maybe from 6 o'clock till when kids fall asleep at 9 o'clock for that three hours. I just really focus on not being on my phone and we're yeah. not filming and we just have a lot of fun. I did see some questions that were like, why don't you guys just film a normal day like um, in the morning and have they go to school and everything? It's, that'd we're be busy. So that'd be so too. hard. Well, no, like it would be boring, but it would be interesting for him to see that. But two things is... It's not possible. We're busy in the morning. It's hard to get the. It's hard to get Nico ready for yeah. school and stuff. And like, then we have all that stuff going on. Literally, it is on. like night and, and day trying to get his shoes on. I just on. want to spend time with the kids. It's true. We need to have a healthy balance as well. But we do film those videos sometimes. We're going to film tomorrow because it's Adley's dance And I think a lot of people think. like. I'm so curious. Do you guys mainly watch A for Adley? Do you mainly watch Best Day Ever? Because they I feel watch like, both. They have I kids know. that watch A for Adley. And but I feel like there's a lot of people that watch A for Adley and they don't watch Best Day Ever. So like. There's people that watch A for Adley, and they're like, why don't you guys film, like, more... Normal stuff. Yeah, yeah. and I'm like, well, are you watching Best Day Ever? Because I feel like that is very normal best... lives that we yeah. live in. It, the thing yeah. is, it's not normal because... No, seriously, like, not everyone owns a space station, no, this is true. and they get to go we're, to work with their dad. We're very different, but you very know what I mean? normal and relatable. And so, yeah, we are very relatable, but... We go on vacations probably more than normal people. I like, think yeah. when we were kids, we never went on vacations. We didn't go to Hawaii till we were. I know, same. <laughs> but like, but lots of people can't afford to travel, That's so true. we travel more than average, and mm -hmm. we get to go do fun things more than average because because we own a space station, we go do like water slide nights and parties and stuff like that. So we get to have a lot more fun than normal. But also, like Jenny was saying, our videos need to be entertaining or else we would never get YouTube views and your kids wouldn't yeah. enjoy watching and stuff. So it is a balance. But I do think we do a really good job of keeping it real and showing real days. But oftentimes it's weekends when the parents get to stay home and play with the kids all day. Yeah. So it's fun, you know, where like a weekday yeah, we when we're all working all day, you just there's not too much to film because we're working. And mm -hmm. then we want to have a normal work life balance as well. Yeah. But here's my answer for the, all those people that want to show their kids that or they want to know that it's not like current but we filmed our life every single day for like 800 days daily vlogs so that daily work life of going to the space station coming home and playing adley's younger and we're a little bit different but you can see what it was and it's exactly the same just now that our life is so much busier and we do have more of a reach and audience we need to make sure to have that work-life balance i don't like the word work-life balance because it's just both you got to do a little bit of both yeah. right but we got to have that separation and so we do it really healthy and I love that we get to film what we want and we don't necessarily worry yes. what the audience, so many YouTubers are like, what does the audience want? I'm going to do this. No, I'm going to do this. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to take a break. No, I'm going to do this. And like, we just film our memories I and know, we try and do yeah. good, but yeah. I know you guys are like, oh, you never show your kids cleaning up or doing this. Your kids no, we clean always up. show our kids so cleaning up. So I think we've up. been more like intentional, like oh, showing that like they actually do clean up. We don't clean I've up ever for them. I've been showing the like, kids clean up intentionally for a while. A lot of people only watch some videos and then they like to true. make opinions. And those people, I true. don't read their opinions because you've been watching for a while, you know. All right, next question. This is Becky Herzog. Becky says... I love this so much. I love watching while my daughter's watching a rally. That'd be awesome to surprise a family. A lot of these are single but lower income families. Oh, we did say we were going to surprise a family. I thought I cut that out. Yeah, we'd love to surprise families. This is going to be really cool. So all the kids have to be have blood transfusions while they were in your belly. Have you thought about hosting a blood drive? Oh, that'd be cool. My daughter has hard rare blood disorder. She has over 100 blood transfusions. We love to see other kids to get blood. So thank you for posting that. That's, That's way, way cool. cool. That's something that we should definitely I get behind that. I would love to do that. Becky, send Jenny a DM and let's figure out how yeah. to back your guys' Host a blood drive. Yeah. And come get some Adley stickers. Ooh, Dracula, that. I don't know if you can joke around about that stuff. Yeah, but, thank you. Okay. Like donating blood. <laughs> All right. Dracula, dad's blood drive. Katie says, 
Thank you for showing that parents do love you guys as much as our kids love your kids. I also love that you guys still shop at Walmart and that you don't have an aesthetic. You guys are so cool. I know I love that our Instagram grids are just what we want to post. They don't have to be a certain mm -hmm. color. And True. fun fact, we I, this shirt I literally got from Target. This was like an $8 guys, I shirt. I love Target. I love it. That's my favorite place. And I love Walmart too. But here's another thing. I, I actually really love that stuff, but I also love the strategy of it because I started noticing a couple summers ago that parents would be like, or like kids or whoever in the comments would be like, oh my gosh, my kid has that shirt or I have that shirt. What do most kids across the country probably get their clothes? Walmart or Target mm -hmm. or somewhere like that. That's a chain that they all get the same thing. So yeah. if we want to be relatable with our audience and also yeah. get them stoked that Adley wears the same stuff, that would be the best place to get it. And we're not trying to wear fancy stuff and act like we're different from our audience. We want to be like our audience and for kids to feel that relatability. That's why our Adley merch is so affordable because we want kids to feel like they can wear yeah. the same stuff as us. Right now it's super fun because Adley loves matching. She's in that phase. Yeah. So I can still match with her. She wants to match, match with Navy. Navy all like, the time. And then Nico sometimes feels left out so we gotta get him matching too. But yeah, I love Target and Walmart. My friends, seriously, they always like, they text me like, Jenny, I see you car. Are you here? Like, like you're here as much as me. At least I'm talking about Okay. Ashlyn Vures says, I'm a mom of five. How? We were just, we literally said today, how do moms of five do it? It was that. It's because we went out to dinner last night. It's so hard. As a family. And I was so like, nice. we're never doing this again. You two are just so in love and silly with each other. How do you keep that love there? Do you ever disagree? No, we actually okay. have a perfect relationship. I read this comment and I literally <laughs> laughed out loud. We don't. Do you know how miserable it is being married to Sean Duras? I'm so busy and crazy and annoying and hot and handsome. He is <laughs> all those things. Ooh, but thank you. Very, Especially when I'm clean shaven. It's hard. It's it very, way hard. Well, so what's the question? Okay, how, how do you, you keep, keep that, that love, love there? there? Um, when we're doing good at keeping that there, it's making sure that you find time together and hobbies and common interests. Like once the kids go to bed, you play board games together. That's been a huge thing for our marriage to play board games yeah. and you get that time to just talk and whatever. It's Ask been nice to- Ask them about to, their day, still be interested yeah, to each other. That's what we normally do. And that's how I started this was, how was your day? And we talk about it and you just really got to listen. And if I'm not, if I'm just doing it to say it, but I'm not actually mm -hmm. listening, then it does the opposite. So we're really good at understanding that stuff and just focusing on that time together. But then I when we both like, get really busy, yeah, I feel like when we get we busy and we don't, like if I'm so tired and I keep going to bed or he has to go do a review mm -hmm. or things like that, we kind of just, I mean, we still love each other, but we just kind of. We stop loving each other when we get busy. <laughs> stop. No, we don't. I mean, like. We did it again. Do you think it's still there? It's recording now. Wow, we've been talking for that long already. I that think it maybe it automatically stops after 20 or 30 minutes. I think it's 30 minutes. I'll go get another SD card. Ooh, and I won't be here so you can like share some juicy insights <laughs> on like how annoying I am, but how you deal with it. <laughs> but it is true. <laughs> Sean's mom and even Wait, like- Wait, I'm annoying? Yeah, Sean's mom and grandma, like even when we were getting married, she's like, Jenny, I don't know how you're gonna do this. He's a wild one. I don't know how, how do you even keep up with him? But it is true, me and Sean have lots of fun but we do disagree. I know this said, how do you keep that love there and do you ever disagree? Oh my gosh, we disagree on so much. It is wildly insane. Um, but I'll wait to answer that with him when he comes back. But I don't know, what was I saying? I forgot, see I get nervous, I'm all by myself and it's just me and you. What the heck? How do you keep that love there? See, I'm quiet now. I don't know what to do. I get shy. Sean, he does work a lot and there are a lot of times where he will go back to the office and I go to bed by myself and it is hard and it's sad. And if we do that so much, I feel like we're not connected or in the same wavelength and he kind of bugs me more or annoys me because I think he's not helping out around the house enough and da 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 da. But I feel like if we do take time with each other and like put our phones away and like actually listen to each other. Like we feel more connected and more love for each other and <sighs> yeah. I got SD cards and a battery. Okay, that's great. Should honey. probably swap out BRB. Toodaloo! Don't All right. Out. I thought you wanted it at the end. Howdy, we're back. We're back. What were we talking? We were talking we're about. We're talking about how to have a good relationship. Oh, which and then do you we're ever not disagree? The best at, but we're figuring out we do disagree all we do. the time. We 
are so disagreeable. We mostly <laughs> just, we're such different people. We always, yeah. like, but that's what makes it so special is that we see the world in a different way and we just listen to each other. And that's why our kids are so unique and diverse and fun is because they have a little bit of both our personalities. And you've made me such a better person and more caring and just, and you are fun and everything else. But then I've made you such like a outgoing, fun, adventurous. This you know is what true. I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you've made me more of a positive person. I've become more of like a slightly negative, more realistic person. It's such a good balance. Wait, what? <laughs> <I'm> just <laughs> throwing, yeah. We're talking about how we disagree with each other. I know. Okay, cut all that out. What are we talking about? Disagreeing. We do, do we disagree ever disagree? With each other. Yes. We disagree all the time. It's we always about all small the time. little things like, like Jenny pretending she needs to go to the bathroom for thirty minutes and me having to watch the kids the whole time. This is such a lie. This is true. Moms, do you do that? Pretend to go to the bathroom to get away from the kids? You can't act like that. This is the okay. truth. We gotta tell it's the truth. It's different when you're home with them all day long. <laughs> oh, that's not a lie anymore. Hey, I don't do it for 30 minutes, but okay, I don't sorry, do like it 20 intentional minutes. either. Like, you go to the bathroom and then you get on your phone and, and then, then you get like, distracted. And you're like, I'm never coming out. He can no, handle this. He's been at work all day. He can handle these me. kids for 20 minutes. See, we're I'm disagreeing pooping. right here. We disagree about everything. Oh, I'm not disagreeing. I'm just acting like you on the toilet. Okay. I'm not going back out there. I do that while I'm on the toilet. I need to make it. Sometimes the seat's closed. You're fully closed. You're sitting on There's, top of the toilet on your phone. That is a complete lie. I never do that, and I know you do that, though. Oh, I do that. See, we disagree about a lot of things. Oh, I agree. That but, was accurate. I'm agreeing with you. Um, the problem is I usually win the disagreements, and then she gets frustrated. He always... This is nothing. He always thinks he's the right one. It's a curse that I'm always correct, and so even though I try and explain to her, like, hey, this little thing we're arguing about, I really am right. But you just gotta trust me on this, and she gets so frustrated. It's, it's hard not. always being the one that's right. It makes it awkward oh at the end of the gosh. disagreement. Wow, that yeah. is a rough life for you, huh? It is hard, and it must be hard for you always being wrong. I think wrong we need a new question. Like, yeah. Okay, my biggest question is bedtime. Please talk mm -hmm. about bedtime oh, and when so you guys hard. put them to bed. Okay, and how hard Setting it is to do that. A good expectation that there's one more thing to do, and you're mm -hmm. just gonna do that one more thing, and you can maybe be fun and do it a little bit longer, but once that thing is over, it's really bedtime. Or setting a timer, and they get to yep. set the timer and agree to it, and then when it rings, they push the button and they know it's done, yep. and then they make the decision. You can't go back on it. That was a lot. That was very helpful when the kids were a little bit younger. I think also getting in a good routine so the mm -hmm. kids kind of like know what to expect. Like we do one more thing to do, and we yep. do teeth, and we do books, and we get cuddles, and well, maybe she gets songs and all that stuff. But a good routine helps them, like, their brain even, like, realize, like, oh, this is winding yep. down for bed. This is what we're doing. But a lot of times our kids are normal and they struggle and they have a battle, like, no, I want to do this. No, I want to do that. But you just got to stick to your guns because if they see you not stick to your guns, they're going to keep doing it. And then on weekends, you have extra fun. You let them stay up late. And this is true. And be a softie. When and we go get in the hot tub at They're so excited for and... weekends, and they ask if it's a school night or if it's a weekend. And on those nights, they get to hang out a little bit longer, yeah. and we get to have more fun with them. So, How often do you let the kids play on their iPads or watch TV? I'm having a problem with that balance. I think that everybody is has a problem yeah. with that balance. Um, ours is a little different because we... We film and we put videos on YouTube, so we, we view that a little bit differently. I also view iPad usage as being very healthy. I think a lot of people grew up or their parents grew up or whatever with this. Go outside and play. It's like we all want to go outside and play and we know that that's healthy. But guess what? It's winter in Utah and there's no outside to play, so we've got it's a whole bunch outside. of months. And also, when I watch Nico play Minecraft and problem solve and build and construct things and figure out how to symmetrically do it and how to craft things and create things from new and start from scratch and like mm -hmm. he's learning so much and he's so smart and Adley's like learning social skills and playing dolls just like when you sit down and you play with dolls and you're like hey let, let's do this and pretend it's my birthday and come yeah. over here and you're playing with dolls we do that in Roblox and we're mm -hmm. playing and we're pretending we're and just because we're looking yeah. at a screen instead of playing with a physical doll like it's the same as all those people who should stop watching sports and go play sports and get exercise. 
You guys should all tell yourselves to stop doing that. Seriously, so Sean, sports like, fans. He never grew up just like watching football or baseball or even like kind of playing those. He did a little bit here and there. So like, I grew up exploring and adventuring so and different. shredding on my skateboard and like, having fun. It's true. There's a lot of like adults that just spend hours watching TV, like getting their like kids or adults reality yeah. TV and football and sports mm -hmm. in, and like we don't do that, but we do play on our yeah. iPads quite a bit. But think about so. the adults that spend a lot of time on their iPads reading or learning or studying yeah. or they spend a whole day in front of a laptop doing this but they're getting something accomplished yeah that's okay it's kind of the same thing with kids like screen time is not necessarily the negative it, it's what is the screen time if yeah. they're watching garbage youtube don't let Definitely. them know there's so much bad stuff on youtube and i feel that pain but if you know they're watching our stuff amazing like hopefully yeah. they're learning or having fun or being being entertained and like that's why we make this content yeah. Seriously. And then also I know what helps me, um, our kids have iPads, so it's really cool. They have, a, there's like the screen time and I can keep track of it yeah. on my phone and we have, um, we definitely do that. We have and downtime. It turns off at a certain time. Turns off at a certain time. They can't they go back in. And use it, we can be like, it's on for 15 minutes yeah. and they use it and then it's off. And then there's, really with helpful. certain apps, you can be like, okay, you only get this many minutes with this app Man. and this many minutes with this. And when it's done, oh. it's done. The kids, I saw a they question. can ask for more, but. Hardly Someone ever. asked a question. Many people have asked a question about YouTube Kids. Oh, yeah, we don't I dictate do that. that. We can't upload to YouTube Kids. That's all curated by yeah. YouTube. We tried to get on YouTube Kids for the longest time. And then finally, what, a couple months ago, YouTube just finally noticed us and was like, yeah. we'll put A for Adley on YouTube Kids. So I think most of the stuff is on YouTube Kids. Yeah. And then it seems like they put our new stuff on There's Matches. Guess what? We just got a YouTube partner manager. Like we have official, yeah. did I tell you about that last yeah, week? Yeah, you did, that's awesome. It's gonna be so huge. So Goodness. they're gonna help us do better ads on A for Adley, best ever, and animation. Yeah, so there won't be any weird ads anymore. Mm -hmm. Or like scary movie ads or any know, of this stuff. Because we can't control those. I can't yeah. go over each one and so, yeah, we're gonna, we have we a can. we have a partner manager. They're gonna help us get really good ads, which also means our CPM will go up. So we'll mm -hmm. actually get paid more for the you ads that you guys are that. having to watch. Yeah, they do. They can know that stuff. Oh, okay. Like. Guys, there's ads that are on. Every time you watch our video ad pops up, we make like a fraction of a penny. Now we'll make a slightly higher fraction of a penny because we're getting more premium ads. And that's cool. That funds the space station. And I like talking about that because you guys should know that through watching our videos and supporting us as creators, that's what's created the space station. Like it's if you've true. heard of the creator economy or influencers or you see Logan Paul doing what he's doing, um, anyone with influence, whether it's a professional athlete or a movie star or whatnot, they can do a lot of good or they can do a lot of bad with that influence. Because we have influence and people like to watch our videos, we've been able to create the space station and that's pretty cool. We do lots of good stuff. Same with A for yeah. Adley. We're able to do a lot of fun things with it. And I know I talked about that a lot last time, but Back on I'm just YouTube so kids, excited about it. It's like, we can't, know, we can't we be on the YouTube Kids, but I know that you can. So if you go on YouTube oh, Kids app. Oh, you can put Best Day Ever can, on YouTube Kids. Yeah. yeah. You guys can add it and save it as one of your favorites. I don't know mm -hmm. exactly how to do it, you but I know there's a way. You can go YouTube Kids setting, your parent settings, and you can yep. select Best Day Ever, put the link there, and yeah. now they can access that. You can that. add our um, channel to But YouTube also that's kids something that we were going to try and do is yeah. put Best Days Ever on YouTube Kids like certain ones yeah. and whatnot and now that we have a partner manager that's gonna be awesome Yay. same with animations oh this is from leah what Carl. is your eyelash situation jenny they're always admirable i agree um, it's one of those girl things this is one of those girl things i get my eyelashes done yeah um i don't really talk about it but it's i'm so not weird. super into makeup actually i hardly ever wear it mm -hmm. um because i feel like it gives me a lot of acne um but I want to look somewhat decent, obviously. You told so, them you get acne? I get a lot of acne, guys. That's so dumb. <laughs> Remember when we I? thought we'd grow up and not have acne Why? anymore, and then we still get Why? it? I and I know. feel like when I wear makeup, I even get more, which is so dumb. You don't Closer have to, to zoom in, in more on acne. my face. Thank you very much. We got Santa pictures today, so let's I zoomed put... in on my teeth earlier. But anyways, we're working on that, but I figured this is something I can do for myself. I never go get my hair done. Um, as my hair's red. <laughs> yeah, but that's been in there forever. Okay, I our did, whole family my does our hair like it. once a quarter. Literally, I, I, I get my never haircut get like my once hair a year. done. I never get my nails done. I literally only get my toes done if we travel like to a beach somewhere. Otherwise, I don't do that. Like, I'm just not really Once into we that travel, stuff. the beach is all the time. Well, I see, I never do it. Do um, you guys want to know what's really funny? It's actually hard. My dad invited us to Belize, and we were so excited to go. But at the same time, it was like, 
that's in the middle of we had school the kids had to miss and that's really hard yeah and then it's We're the middle still of catching q4 up on like homework, by the way. this is a really busy time for space station and business and everything yeah. else and we also we went to hawaii this year earlier in the year and then disney invited us on the cruise yeah. And so, I don't know, I just saw a lot of comments about, is, like, is people, like, like, they love that we're relatable, but it's hard, they have to explain to their kids, like, why they can't go on vacation stuff all the time. So then it's hard for us, because, like, it was hard for us to even choose to go on that vacation because of school and everything else, but also we don't want to feel like all we do is go on vacation, yeah. so, But also yeah, I saw a lot of comments wild. where they're like, oh, my kids love your Disneyland vlogs. I know, like, we get to take you guys favorite, on adventures like, and They teach love kids watching you be travel brave. because it's fun and they can experience new things mm -hmm. with you and all that. So I love to travel. Me too. We, and share that. And now yeah. when other kids are like, they have a chance to snorkel in the water with fish or stingrays, that's such a scary See, moment for kids. kids to be brave. No, really, because yeah. Adley did it because she watched Dorothy from Buckle's family yeah. do it, and so she was brave, and now it's becoming normalized. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's so awesome. I'm, we do yeah. so much good, but also we're under a magnifying glass, and it's so hard to live normal and not have too many toys or have too much fun because not yeah. everyone gets to have that much fun. So it's this crazy balance of living our normal life that we want to live, but I also not like having too much fun. In that situation, but we're also very entertaining careful everyone. with all of that, except for traveling. I feel like we, if we have money, I don't want to buy any junk that goes in our house or fancy no clothes. I would rather no go travel clothes, and see Target, the world Walmart, and see culture walls. and how other people live their lives. Yes, and that's what we want to do. And but yeah, it is hard to explain to I love to your taking kids, you guys along for the ride with it. But yeah, these are our memories too. So I think it's, I don't know, that's fun. This is awesome. And you guys yeah. get to go with us. And it's always crazy when we go places like that Belize trip. That was not like a touristy, fancy hotel. That was like really going and out there a hurricane. and experiencing. I say hurricane because we have a city in Utah called Hurricane. And a I hurricane. saying that. A hurricane. Think of the song. Does it say, here we are, rock you like a hurricane? <laughs> I know, just stop. Um, but hurricane literally hit Belize like the day before we were going. So that was like, do we still go? What do we do? Your dad still went, he checked everything out and we're like, it's I true. guess we're still going. Belize. It really was, and that's like, why we left it later. was so crazy. Like these like decisions we have to make and, but yeah, yeah. that was way fun. We make a lot of decisions. I think that's one of the hardest things is yeah. with family, with filming, with trying to balance a normal life and everything. Well, you make you got to make a lot of decisions. You have so many employees. You make tons of decisions. I've I don't really even know good how at you decision do that. Making, You're really good at approaching situations and analyzing situations and using and you deductive just, logic. Yeah, you don't have to like just deal with your wife's drama. You have to deal with so many <laughs> other people's just and drama, drama too and. I think I said I that last time. It. It's hard because every day so much good stuff happens and every day so many hard things. I could tell you yeah. so many amazing things that happened just today and so many hard things I had to deal with today. Yeah. Every single day. But I've just become numb to it. Just kidding. <laughs> that was not a positive ending. No, I've just learned to deal with it and I've become a better person through these experiences. You mm -hmm. have too. Like, dude, babe, when we were first, dude, babe, when we were first dude, married, babe. we were so just like, we didn't know how to pay our insurance. We didn't know how to buy a car. We didn't remember all these things. I'm we had to struggle to figure out. out how to do that. <laughs> and yeah. now we're doing so much cool stuff and we pay people and like yeah. people are having babies and buying houses because of the income that we give them because of all this cool stuff that we've done with our yeah, audience. Our nanny just got a new car today. Yeah, yesterday. Allie got a car. Woo -hoo -hoo. Go Allie. So cool. So she helps her. us and then we help her yeah. and the circle continues. Then you guys get good videos because Allie helps us prepare for them. And yeah. oh my gosh. That's so fun. We're just surrounded by good people both at the space station and here on YouTube. And it's yeah. pretty cool to be able to do these videos. These are my favorite videos we've ever made for sure. They're or podcasts. I'd be curious. I'm going to leave a comment at the top of this one and just say, do you watch or listen? And I want to see how many people listen. I bet everyone watches because these are all our YouTube audiences and I yeah. don't listen. To, do you listen to podcasts? Do mom do that? Do I do when do I that? clean. Mm. Yes. So like once a quarter? But guys, no, I clean a lot. What are you talking about? I, I listen to the podcast that Sean gets frustrated that I listen to, but I'm sure all of you guys listen to him too, which is awesome because we Ew. can be friends. Like the true crime stuff. Ew. Sean hates it because then That's I get- That's a waste of time. You're get not getting Amy Valley. You're just getting yourself freaked out so you're alone but and I your love husband's it. not And I'll have like night. my headphones in and sometimes Sean will even walk in the room and he'll be like, like ah! 
I'm so she's jumpy, so guys. Jumpy. Literally today, she was walking in the house and Adley had mistletoe, and she's like, Dad, film this. And I got up on a chair, and we put mistletoe up to surprise Mom with a kiss, a kiss and she lost her. It scared me because yeah. I didn't expect Sean to be standing right there, so I jumped and screamed. She's so I'm very scared, jumpy, yeah. but he does not like it when I listen to those because I get extra. This jumpy. is something about me. I love to just be productive or sentimental or make memories. I can't stand just listening to some crime or watching some movie or seeing if a bachelor gets a rose. Like, if it's not productive really or teaching me or anything, yeah. Or if it's not a, an amazing story or something like, I don't know. I can just go watch movies too. Yeah. I don't know. Why well, I, like I feel that like stuff. we've been talking yeah. forever. Is this still interesting? Yeah. Is anyone still watching? Um, Should we wrap up any questions? We've been talking for 50 minutes again. It's Maybe even longer. Time. I want to finish this question. What is your eyelash situation, Jenny? We just talked about eyelashes forever. Next. No, I want to tell you. You lay there and get your eyelashes done, and you, they tape your eyes shut, and you have to lay there. They tape your I eyes shut? I cannot stand it. I cannot stand it just laying Why there do you do it? and having them do it because I just got to be moving. Now there's so many things I'm thinking of in my head and my head's going to explode. I do not like laying there, but it's a sacrifice I make. To have eyelashes? <laughs> yeah. I also have eyelashes and I don't have to sacrifice any movement for it. It's okay. It's just something that I don't Girls like doing, but I do it because do I like it. Do any dads watch this? So weird? Did your husbands like this? Are hey, they still watching? I saw watching? multiple guys comment on there like, bro, let's be friends. My recent, this is from Jordy and Faye. Our recent struggle is with our four-year-old who wants more connection, wants to play constantly. We feel that. We've been trying to make time, but it never seems to be enough. They always want to keep playing. We feel that. I'm trying to maybe schedule an event any day or so. Do you have any advice? Yes. We play with our kids a lot, and your kids see that. And I understand yeah. that it's hard to always play with your kids. But here's the thing. I really mean this. This is something I'm passionate about that I've, like, really learned over the years is... If you're just playing with your kids because you need to and you're thinking about all the stuff that you need to do, it's so hard and it's actually miserable. But if you actually play with your kids and think about what they're saying and you play back and you really listen, the same way you should engage in a conversation with your mm -hmm. spouse or something, and you use your imagination and you use phrases like, oh, and pretend this happened and pretend it's, they always want to have birthdays or have a baby or there's twins or you know what I mean? Sean's and you know really all good that at stuff. Playing pretend and so kids. go play with them and be imaginative. And then it turns into something that's actually fun. And then all of a sudden, 30 minutes passes and you were a good dad and they had a blast and you actually had fun and you didn't spend 30 minutes thinking about all the things that you need to do and how stressful your life is like actually allow yourself to enjoy playing with your kids and it makes it a lot easier guys i had a blast the other day sean was working his butt off trying to get this for our very first podcast live and jenny was pretending and to be a dog to distract the kids to so distract i could get the it done kids. Navy was just going crazy. And Navy loved it. And we it. just pretended to be dogs for like, I'm not kidding, an hour. It was so fun. I just had a family of dogs and they couldn't troll me because kids, they control super they hard. But dogs, annoying, but they trolling. just bark and walk around on the ground and I was like up it tall. It was so it was funny. Like, Koopa and Olive were so confused. They loved Every it. Every time they were barking, we'd bark back at them. Like, And Navy just loved it. She was smiling for like an hour. You're such a good mommy. It was... It See, actually was so much fun. It's hard fun. to play I with your it. kids, but seriously, just do it. It's worth it. It really is. They're only little for so long. You're going to yeah. miss that. If you need to do something like, oh, I need to do the dishes, but she wants to play, but mm -hmm. okay, honey, I want to do the dishes. I need to do the dishes, but I'd really love to play with you. How about when I finish the dishes, we play anything you want. You can think about it. Go in the toy room, maybe like set up the doctor mm -hmm. set or house and you get that ready for us. And when I'm done, we can play. And then you just set your phone down. Yep. You actually give them your full focus. That's what I was going to say is you don't and have really to really play it. with them. Mm -hmm. When I'm working, I full focus work and I get as much done. And then when I'm playing with my kids, I full focus kids and I get as much done. I don't waste time at work and think about other stuff yeah. or whatnot. And then when I'm playing with my kids, I don't think about work or other things I need to be doing. Just whatever you're doing, whether it's having a conversation, filming a video, playing with your kids, talking to a neighbor, whatever you're doing, if it's important, prioritize it and give it all your attention mm -hmm. and then switch that prioritization to something else and give that all your attention. People who are trying to multitask and do lots of different things. I do so much every day and I multitask so hard. Yeah. But the way I do it and the reason I'm super good at it is because I only full focus what's important. And then I have a list where I know what I'm going to do next or even have someone help me and like, with my prioritization, but when I'm doing something, I give that my 100% full focus. Mm -hmm. Fun fact, my phone doesn't even make noises 
If you call me, text me, anything, I won't get it. And I miss calls all the time because whatever I'm engaged in at the time, that is the most important thing I could be doing. And then after my conversation or after the meeting, when I have time, I look at my phone and see what I caught and what I need to catch up on. And I set aside time in my day to just do that. Normal life or any job or being at home or anything. But mom's like- Just prioritizing your time. If your kid is wanting attention and needs that, which they should, they're your kids and they want to be more involved with you, you're the parents. Um, give them a time limit, set the timer again. I think we talked about that before Mm -hmm. and then have them set it. And then when it's done and it goes off, then they know that playtime is over. But also more I've realized is that they just, they love you. Your kids love you and they want to be more involved in your life. So like have them help you out with the dishes. Yeah. Like Navy loves doing the dishes. She wants to play in the water all the time, get all the cups and wash all the things. And treat your kids like- Be them more involved in what your activities are, doing the laundry or folding them. And when you're doing it, treat them like a friend. Like have them do it with you. You don't always have to be like, parent kid relationship like when i'm hanging out with adley i treat her as an equal almost yeah. always and like we're doing things together and we figure it out together and i i shoot straight with her on stuff i don't over teach her and act like she's a kid or like give her too much power you yeah. know what i mean like i just like act like she's my friend and we figure it out yeah. together and like i think that's important is especially I, if you have older yeah. kids just do fun stuff together like you don't have to make them do chores have fun doing chores together that's the biggest thing right you don't have to be parents and make them do it it's true. Yeah. Adley actually really enjoys having a clean room. I think it's because she takes after example. Like, yeah. I can't stand it when things are dirty, actually, but I don't have the energy to clean them, so I don't do it. But yeah, when I do battles. when I do clean them, like, Adley, just her mood boosts, and she's like, oh, I love this. I'm yeah. like, yeah. So she'll clean her room all the time. She'll blast music on. Like, that's how I we do it. it. We love it. Okay. I think we need to wrap up. No yeah, more questions. Yeah, we do. No more right questions. But that was really fun. So um, on this video... What do we want people okay. to Actually, comment? I screenshotted this because... You were just telling me no more questions. You're I, it's your not a question. Oh, okay. She Let's just wrote it. it and I love it so much. You read it. This is from Melissa Patricia. She put this on Instagram. Jenny McBride, I would love to give you a different opinion. I actually love how you guys show your reality. My daughter loves watching your adventures you go on and the toys you guys try out. I think the beautiful thing about your family is that you may be better off than some, but that's never the focus. You genuinely feel like you wake up every day and choose to be involved parents. You choose to make every day the best day ever, not because every day it is, hard things always happen, but because it's the right mindset and it can be. So I just wanted to thank you guys. Thank you, Melissa Patricia. For real. You're... I love that comment. I like this. Um, Because of you, we're dreaming with our kids. We're planning adventures. We're talking about going exploring and doing things. And that's such a beautiful gift to give to the world. Keep doing what you're doing and my family. And I can't wait to see where life takes you and yours next. Boom! Mic drop! Girl, she, Melissa Patricia, me I'm gonna go follow you, you so right much. now, girl. <laughs> that was so cool, thank but you. That was a really sweet comment, thank you. Leave the sweet ones and the other ones, though. We wanna <laughs> yeah, answer we them do. all. We, we wanna answer them. them all. But, but that yeah. was way cool. How do we um, wanna end this? this and was I just really followed fun. Melissa Patricia, shout out. That looks like her, she looks like a nice mom. Yeah, it is, that's yeah. the back of her head. Okay. <laughs> Got you. Thanks, guys. This was really fun. It was and fun. It's, it's so fun to see that you guys are excited about this, too. So uh, it gives us more we're motivation keep to them. keep doing it. I honestly think we're going to do them like every Sunday for the next long time because it is fun to do these and chat with you guys. And yeah. Yeah. That I was can fun. see us doing a whole bunch. But thanks for being our friends. Bye. Bye. Wait, heart together. Bye. We got a mouse. Oh my gosh. Shut up. (laughs) Did that just happen? (laughs) You're filming? Did you know? No. Koopa was growling at something. I was getting the camera ready to do our challenge thing, and you said Koopa's growling at something, so I just turned it on and came to look. (laughs) I'm like so... All right. What's up, little mousey? Hello. What are you doing in our pantry? Mom does not like you. Oh my gosh, she's big! She's big? That's a baby! That's huge! That's huge? Quit putting it by my face! That's not huge! Compared to the last one we got, that's a big one! I feel like it's smaller the same size. Stop living in our house! I'm gonna go wake up Adley and show her. Stop. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have to she would picture. want me to. I have to. Adley, I would have woke you up. I gotta, I gotta show Allie. Wait, turn it this way a little. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Dude, he's sorry. pooping right now. Oh no. Okay. Don't move it. Maybe he doesn't want to deal with his kids. <laughs>
You're so funny. Okay. P for parents. It's a good episode. <laughs> I hate you. Whoa, don't hate's a hate. strong word. Come on, babe. I don't like you. Are we gonna do our challenge? Yeah. Let's let him watch our challenge. Come on, we got a surprise for you. Watch this. Oh, will you hold this? I need my Stop. bowl of cereal. No. Will you grab my bowl of cereal then? Yeah. Thank you. Ew, no, it's empty. Oh, I was done? You were done. Ah, that sucks. I wanted more. <laughs> I was gonna definitely get a bowl number two. Oh well. Koopa, you can't be down. And yeah, you can watch us too. Come on. You guys are part of P for Parents. These are our mascots right here. Okay. He's gonna sit right here. You guys are gonna sit right by the mouse. Ooh, right over the mouse actually, protecting it. So you're getting a mouse's view right now. This is what it used to be on, is this. This challenge brought to you by our sponsor, A. Fradley. They make great products for kids and families. All right, what's this challenge? I just want to first say that say we it. were done with the video and then we we're going to bed and then it was Sean who remembered that we needed to do a challenge. Me, he welcome. wanted to do it. I, I can say are. I wanted to do it. I just think it's a he great always tradition. Wants to do it. No, I was just helping you. I knew you were excited. I am not okay. part of these. So this one, you get down. He sits down, down, and then we balance and let go of our hands. This is one where we sit on each other? Yeah. That's the one we're doing? I'm gonna sit like this, and then you sit Woo! on my knees. Are you sure? Do you want my legs to be the base first? Let's do it both ways. Whoa, if I had a dollar. Okay, here we go. Okay, now you sit on my knees. Okay. And lean back. All right. Lean back Take further. Take journey. Lean back What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta balance my butt cheeks. <laughs> Your, your knees are wobbly. Mel, hand me one of your hands. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Lean further back. <laughs> you lean further back. I'm all the way back <laughs> pulling you as much as I can. Get I back. can't give you more momentum. <laughs> 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 I was giving you my everything. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. You got wobbly knees too. No, I'm just getting situated. This way. Lean back. No. Oh. 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 I think that's a make, right? I have to be on the bottom. <sighs> Same as always. Stop. All right. Every time oh. they sh we watch it, the girl's always on bottom. Stop! <laughs> I'm not thinking anything. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna break your knees. You have wobble knees, baby. It's you not worth it. You nailed my finger. How <laughs> did I hurt your finger? I don't know. Hey, let me try it again. We can do this. I just don't think I'm strong enough to hold up your Hey, back. you're strong enough. We okay. just want to do it this way. Okay, you gotta lean back. <laughs> yeah. You gotta, you gotta look. Okay, okay. But then you gotta. You gotta do it with your feet. See, your feet have to hold you up, not your arms. Oh, yep, see? Okay. See, your feet. Oh, we did yeah. it. Whoa. Hey, we got it though. I bet we, we can do it again if we start good. One for fun, two to make it true. Yeah. High five. P for parents. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh.